Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome to my channel Tokyo Kara Konnichiwa. Herzlich willkommen. Yeah guys, quick update on Nikola ticker NKLA. So the last trading view was quite successful. We had here also a green Friday for most of the stocks. Nikola unfortunately closed here with minus 1.6%. Not too much guys, but I will explain you here in this video what could potentially happen because we have here <laughs> something between technicals and how to say that not fundamentals but yeah of course when we talk about delusion it is something fundamentally the company start to uh, get more cash uh, or more money for uh, yeah for uh, the purpose to bring the uh, the trucks on the road or to just keep the company alive so i will give you here in this video my price predictions to the up and the downside, I will give you also some updates here on Findle and everything what I say here, guys, is not a financial advice since I'm not a financial advisor, guys. So, yeah, first of all, when we have here the big picture before I enable the drawings, um, I just want to show you one more time Nikola in the one week chart. So one candle here, guys, is one week, the price action of one week. And you can see that since we had our IPO or the, I think it was a spec before and then the spec converted in a tradable stock that's why we started here in the ten dollar range this is quite normal for so-called specs and then nicola squeezed here from ten dollars all the way up to 93 dollars guys but the situation is not the same anymore so if you think that we can see this kind of short squeeze again um i have to say that i don't think that this is possible at least for the situation which we have today because when you have a quick look at just here at the volume profile when you see the volume profile um, unexperienced traders or people who have no experience in trading, uh, which maybe just trade for a hobby or you know just do that, um, you know, without reading the chart, they may think that we have here increasing volume and that this is a good sign, guys. Uh, unfortunately, it's not because this is not trading activity, which means uh, retail investors buying the stock. This is delusion, guys. We have here big delusion, even if you have some very big green volume candles here and we had a short squeeze here also for Nicola but I want to show you here what is possible based on the chart yeah guys when we talk about short squeezes Nicola is waiting here to squeeze but we have a lot of a lot of short squeezes in the market just on Friday here one of the stocks which I present here for my members only had a squeeze here after a retest of the Fibonacci retracement of 368 percent in here one day to be honest guys uh, that move here was some support move before so the squeeze on friday was just 240 percent to be honest with you but the total price squeeze here since we had this retracement where i made a video on the stock was 368 percent and i also want to show you our member stocks from just last week so this is what i announced um, on the beginning of last week so the closing day Friday the week before then I made an update video and you can see here from 10 stocks which I presented here for my elite uh, circle members 70% uh, of these stocks squeezed 42% 170% 66% 86% 52% and so on just two stocks lost the rest made profits and one didn't change so you can see it's not that difficult to make money with trading if you know how to trade which stocks to trade and of course, when to enter and exit them, guys. This is why I made this Elite Circle membership here on my channel. So if you want to see those short squeeze stocks, I already made a video today with the new short squeeze stocks for next week. So if you want to see that and trade those short squeeze stocks, guys, you can join in here, the Elite Circle membership on my channel. If you just want to support my work, guys, you can also, of course, join in here to show your love and support. I really appreciate everybody who's joining in. This is something like a super chat if you just appreciate the work that I'm doing here on YouTube. But as I said, I want to educate people in trading. Of course, I want to share my knowledge and these stocks. And that's why I made this Elite Circle membership, guys. So for Nicola, let's enable the drawings. Let's see if Nicola also can squeeze. And if yes, how high can they squeeze? Yeah, first of all, we had here uh, the last, um, let's say, squeeze which we had. So the or the bigger price action which we had here in the chart was here in the uh, in June 2023. That was the last time that Nikola moved. And also, guys, I mean, 660%. This is a short squeeze, guys. This is nothing where I say this is a small squeeze. This is a big and huge squeeze. And of course, we want to see that happen again from Nicola. So the reason why that happened is because I never care about news. I don't know what they announce in the background, but I can tell you that this was the last time 
before the delusion, before the big delusion was coming, I think the short sellers had to settle here a lot of naked shorts. You can see we have this algo pattern here in the RSI and as soon as we had a clear breakout, we had already some small squeezes in between. Don't get me wrong, also here this trend channel here, let me zoom out one more time, we have this trend channel here and Nikola is respecting this trend channel. So we had a fake out here already once, that was in August 2022. So you can see just to make uh, give you a feeling uh, what, what kind of squeeze potential we have. This was a 100% move, but the more shares you drop into the market, the lower the price gets, the bigger becomes this trading range here of a potential squeeze. And you can see we squeezed again all the way here from the bottom to this trend channel here up to the top. And in that case, as I said, more than 600%. So the question is, can Nicola do that again, guys? Ah, difficult because so we have an uptrend pattern guys don't get me wrong we still have here an uptrend pattern you can see this yellow trend line in the weekly chart is still respected we we had a fail of fail out to the downside here once uh, the reason why i think something will change for nicola is because this trend channel pattern will end soon guys what does that mean since we had the short squeeze after the ipo the price is compressed you can see the price found support at the top of this trend channel here this was the trigger for a squeeze. Then this is normal in trading. The algos change a little bit. You maybe start to dilute the stock. Then this bottom here was the support and that was how the price was compressed. And now you can see that we end this trading range here. We, that means we cannot touch this trend channel here to the downside anymore because that would end up the price in the minus area, guys. This is of course not possible. This is why we have to look out now for a new trend pattern here. This pattern here for Nikola will end at the mid of March, guys. Of course, it is possible that the short sellers bring the price down and we extend that here even until April, even a little bit uh, lower, but you know, there is not much room to go. In the next one to two months, Nikola has to create a new trading pattern. And this is now what is so dangerous here with this stock, guys. Why is this dangerous? I will show you Findle now in, for a second here. The short interest is 21% of the float. This is uh, two times higher than, for example, AMC. AMC has 11%, Nicolas 21%. You can see the short sellers really try to kill this company here. We have 229 million shares short. And when we scroll down, you can see they have plenty of shares available. Even we have here an average trading volume of 66 million shares, which is huge. And this already means we have a really, really big float. Otherwise, you will not have this kind of trading volume. Of course, when you have a squeeze, you will have this volume for one or two days. But when you have an average volume of 66 million shares, guys, that means we have a lot of delusion ongoing for Nikola. And I can prove you that, guys, because when we scroll down here, scroll, scroll, scroll. So I will just give you a feeling what Nikola did in the last years, guys, because we have here in 2020, guys, this is just four years ago or even just three years ago, but because this was December, we had here a tradable float of 177 million shares, guys. So the total float for Nikola was 177 million shares. Yeah, this is why we had very volatile price moves. That's, that, that's also one of the reasons why Nikola squeezed from $10 to $93. There was a lot of buying pressure, maybe inside activity. You know, we don't need to ask why it squeezed. We just need the technicals. And now I will show you guys 177 million was 2021 or January 2021. You can see that didn't change here until March. And now guys, today the, the situation is completely different because the float is one billion shares, guys. This is the million numbers here. So we have 1000 million shares. So which means one billion shares, guys, is the actual float. So what is the problem with this float? I don't know if there are too many buyers out there which still believe in this company, which want to buy the company. Of course, a lot of retail investors try to trade Nikola for a short squeeze, but are there really serious investors out there who want to buy this stock for a long term? I don't know, guys. The problem is 1 billion shares is the float. And when we see what is the actual price of Nikola, 73 cents, we list it here at the NASDAQ, guys. That means that Nikola has to bring the price back over $1 to stay NASDAQ compliant. Yeah? And this is what we don't have right now. Of course, if they get this uh, delisting um, notification from the NASDAQ, this is an automated automated process, guys. So if Nikola receives this letter or this notification, that first means nothing, but they have to react within 180 days to create a price over $1. If they cannot come back over $1, let's call it 
naturally yeah of course this is not naturally guys this kind of price actions what you see here is not made by human but you get the point they have to come back over one dollar otherwise they have to do a reverse stock split this would be of course in favor for the float because the float gets divided let's say when they do a one to ten reverse stock split then we have just 100 million float for example but of course if you are a holder of this stock and they will do a reverse stock split guys you will lose a lot of um, value of your portfolio of course they always say you don't lose but guys trust me when you have a reverse stock split this is never never in favor for a retail investor and this is the 50 50 chance which we have now we are here at the edge of seeing a new pattern trading pattern incoming for nicola with a potential bottom here guys that this is our potential bottom here 70 cents if we cannot hold this yellow line in my opinion we still have here a liquidity zone where maybe buyers are waiting which means between 52 uh, cents and about 70 cents this is a liquidity zone so i would watch very very carefully here if we hold this price here of 72 cents if not guys it is possible that we create a new downtrend here that we trading maybe sideways and nicola has to do a reverse stock split the more far we we um, heating away here from the one dollar range guys the more possible will be a stock split in future for the stock that's why 50 50 situation as i said in the next two months we will have here a decision I will keep you updated here on my channel if you cannot wait to see or if you need more quick analysis on the stock as i said you can join in the lead circle membership i do uh, ship i do chart analyze on request so if you have any other stock beside nicola where you need a detailed chart analyze guys i do that for you and if you want to access trading view guys i always use trading view here for my chart analysis i have a link here in the video description if you click this link and uh, register your for your a trading view um, subscription then you can use this link and you save $15 my members always ask me what I do recommend which kind of tier subscription I always recommend for beginners the plus subscription guys even for advanced traders this is enough and why to waste money if you click this link you can save $15 guys yeah that was my update on Nicola guys I hope that was helpful I wish you a very very nice Sunday I wish you great success with all your trades thank you for your support to all my new members followers and viewers here Welcome to the channel, guys, and see you in the next video. Arigato gozaimasu. Vielen Dank. Viel Erfolg. Schönen Sonntag und bis bald. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.